to subscribe and click that bell icon to get notified of my latest uploads. Hey guys and welcome back to episode 16 of my Darkness Falls mod series. As you guys can see I'm quickly on the trader selling a few things but while I'm here, what's that? Okay that's just a normal NPC, normal NPC. Uh, while I'm here I can just tell you I faced the whore just now, or rather day 21, it's day 23 at the moment, and it was insane. I never ever saw that many dogs before in my life. And it's just not just normal dogs, guys. It was those radiated exploding dogs. I literally, I think I killed like 30 of them. I used up all my ammo sniper, shotgun, almost all my arrows. I actually think I went through like 200 arrows. Something you like. Okay, so someone's dying outside. Uh, this I want a key because you can make engines with that. I don't know why I brought it with if I can make the engines. Uh, that I have to sell one at a time. It's a shame I can't make my hunting rifle yet. Apparently I can make the scoped rifle, but not the hunting rifle itself. So, <laughs> I'm so close to being able to put all of these guns together. At least I could assemble the um, Winchester guns, so that's why I'm selling them now. Okay, so I just quickly want to sell all of the cash over here, and then I'm going to go through to the other trader. Actually, scratch that. Before we go to the other trader, we first have to see what this place has to offer. Um, one guy in my comment section, I'll uh, caption over this, actually recommended that I buy everything over here. Well, this is Run Forest Run. I can actually read this one. Um, but buy schematics over here and then sell them, or rather scrap them for the notes. That's actually clever. It's expensive because, as you can see, it's, it doesn't uh, actually cost that cheap. Uh, let's just buy everything that we don't have. Oh, for a moment I thought we didn't know the crossbow. Decorations. Okay, so all these I can buy now. I have a ton of uh, coin anyway. And then these I scrap and turn into those notes. And with those notes, you're able to make another class. Okay, I think I'm also going to buy these. Don't need any clothes. Have my night vision goggles. Just have to make sure that I'm still wearing mine, because I accidentally took mine off and replaced it with uh, glasses earlier. <laughs> Didn't even notice it. Okay, and then this, we definitely need. I ran out of all my sniper ammo. And arrows, we definitely need. Woo, crossbow! And a nice one! Okay, what are they firing at? Dogs. Oh yeah, dogs. Oh, they ran fast. Okay, guys, stop it. The zombies are way too far away. Okay, so... <laughs> I, w I hope all the dogs actually ran through now. And they're not stuck in here. Let's quickly see if I can sell more things on my bike before we go to the other trader. Because I do not want to go back and forth and back and forth between the traders. Come on, come on, come on. And that we can drop for now. Make sure I read this one. Sometimes these NPCs can get a little bit annoying. Earlier, one of them was just firing and firing and firing, and when I looked, it was firing at nothing. Okay, so this we know. Scrap, scrap. This one we must read, and scrap. Okay, as you guys can see, you get the bundle of skill notes, and with these, you can make a new class. I think at the moment, my class is construction. Yeah, I have 6 out of 6 construction. But with these, uh, you can actually craft other classes as well. Because remember, with your skill points, some of them are locked... Oh, I'm confusing the two mods now. Anyways, <laughs> I still need to get the working sinks. Damn, I still need a tough ton of stuff. Oh yeah, these are the classes I'm talking about. You can craft the bundles and then unlock these classes. So then you get the quest for that class as far as I know. Ah, I've been expecting you. As I was saying guys, this horde was hectic. It was the first time in my life that I saw that many exploding dogs. As you guys know, we I think it was in early episodes where we killed a ton of those dogs, but this was nothing like that. There were dogs everywhere. There were so many that some of them actually started They've walking traveled. away. When I saw them walking away, I, knew, I actually I lured them back in with a sniper rifle or a arrow shot and then finished them off with a shotgun. Two shots to the head and they died. But still, the damage they did to that one building, damn. Next episode, I'll show you guys how that what that building looks like now. 
What I want to do now is quickly go to that trader, and on the way back, I'm actually thinking of cutting down a few trees because we need wood. Um, whoop, the trees are fully grown at the base, so we can now start the treehouse. And then also, I need to come back to the uh, forest area over here because there's a ton of boulders. I need iron. Um, I mean, I have my auger, so I can easily cut down these boulders in a matter of seconds. But I need the, uh, the iron and all the resources from that. It's actually easier just going for these boulders than going mining. With mining, you only get one resource. With these boulders, you get like five. I'm actually thinking of doing a video on this mod. Like, for example, is it worth playing... Whoa. almost forgot about these barbed fences. Damn, I just jumped those barbed fences. Anyways, I'm thinking of doing a video on this mod. Um, would you guys be interested in seeing it? Like, is it worth playing the ins and outs of the mod? Stuff like that. I mean, uh, honestly, I don't know a ton about this mod. But, at least I know enough. And there's also the wiki page and uh, Kane, what? Kane's Corner that comments. So with that, I should have enough info for you guys. Okay, sell these. Just make sure that I don't sell whatever I just bought. This, 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 this. Cool. Look at the cash, guys. We are rich. But then again, some of these things are so super expensive. The only gripe I have with this game is the fact that you have to have level 7 weapon smithing to unlock steel smithing. So at the moment, the only steel arrows I have uh, come from arrowheads that I looted. Welcome I can't make my own yet. I'm too low a level. To look okay, uh, let's quickly take this one apart so we can sell the parts. Something like so. Like. I also have some spare parts at the base for when we are able to upgrade this a little bit more. And then let's see what this guy has for us. Ooh, I need armor. I definitely need armor. And then obviously more ammo. Uh, book, hunting knife. Known, but we want to scrap that. Scrap and scrap. And then this one we also have. Oh, cool. So we still need to read that one. Auger blade, I'm going to buy... Oh, wait, you can actually make your own auger blade. So there's no reason for me to buy these. Then again, this one's a lot better quality than I can make at the moment. So let's just get it. And that seems to be it. I don't want to buy other ammo for now. If I see something like awesome traps, I'll buy that. Like uh, turrets and stuff. But other than that, I don't really need them. Okay, and I'm going to have to start making crossbow bolts as well for my uh, crossbow now. Nothing, nothing, nothing. What's over here? Um, that's another thing, guys. I need to start making traps. Because, like I said, those dogs were insane. Now, if I did that at my base, they would have destroyed the whole prison. There's no yeah, way I would have been able to now. defend the prison from that massive horde. At, a, at one stage, there were only dogs spawning. And when I finally finished killing over 30 of those exploding dogs, only then did I actually get... Oops. Where's that? Where's the wolf? Like I said, I had to kill all 30 of them before they actually started spawning normal zombies again. So it was really, really insane. I think the only exit is on this side. So I just want to turn this around and let's close here. I mean, it is a little bit defended with a barbed wire, so I don't have to worry that much. Don't need meat or hides at the moment, so... Wait, I see there's a treasure on the map. This way. But I don't have anything to dig with, so I'm not going for that right now. So, for now, we're going back to the base, but on the way there, I want to cut down as many trees as I can. The nice thing about going through the forest is there are so many trees that are fully grown. So you don't have to worry about not getting enough wood. You can just take one or two trees apart and then get a ton of wood. I also have my axe skill and lumberjack skill up. So, but I actually feel like I'm getting less wood now with my steel fire axe than I did with my iron fire axe. Look, I'm getting 15 at a time. I could have sworn I got over 20 with my normal axe. Uh, who knows? I could be wrong. As, as you guys can see over here, uh, just want to see where it is. Axes and lumberjack. Helps you with cutting down trees. I actually wonder how the skills work in this mod. Um, are there enough skill points to get everything you need, or is it limited? Because I think this mod is more of a multiplayer mod than a single player mod. I don't think there are enough skill points to cover everything you need to do.
Okay, so we're gonna wait for our stamina to replete itself. Replete, restore itself. Okay, um, let's quickly see over here. Known, known, known. Guys, the reason I bought this armor is we need uh, defenses. We keep dying from uh, bandits and stuff, uh, like after two shots, just because we don't have enough armor when they shoot at us. So I need to get myself the full armor set and see how many shots I can take from a, a bandit then. At the moment, I actually hate walking around in that town because of the fact that there are so many bandits. I mean, a bandit that uh, has a melee weapon, that's easy to take down, but the ones with guns are almost impossible to get close to. By the time you start shooting them... Oh, the zombies won! By the time you start shooting those zombies... Um, whoa, lag. Oh, but, <laughs> not zombies. By the time you start shooting the uh, the gun ones, the gun bandits, um, they've already killed you. So after the first shot, they already get like two shots in. It's almost like they have automatic pistols. Nope, not enough stamina. It's too late to drink a beer now. How much wood do I have? And how many plates can I make with that? Come on, come on, come on. Mm, that's enough for now. So we actually need this uh, last bit of the tree for like ladders and stuff. Every time I see a figure walking fast, I know it's either an NPC or a bandit. So I keep having to watch myself. Also, I wonder if there's a skill that actually enhances your lock picking. Because at the moment, I take down a safe with my pickaxe, my steel pickaxe, a lot faster than with the lock picking. But if there's a lock picking skill, then it would be the other way around. The only th reason I'm carrying it around is for if I come across. There's not two NPCs. If I come across a place that is two safes in the same room, because then I have to use stamina on the one and then lockpick on the other. I just hope if a bandit sees us and starts shooting, we'll be able to tell where the shot comes from and go the opposite direction. Because I mean, with these, that's why I keep saying, with these bandits, the first shot, you're already dead. Because you had, you're trying to figure out where they're shooting from, and then the second or third shot, you're dead. It's like they get headshots from doesn't matter how far away. They're more accurate than the turrets, in my opinion. I need to upgrade all of this to reinforce concrete. And then I need to start placing spikes as well. Also, what I still need to do off-camera is take away these half blocks. Then again, I wonder if I shouldn't put a half block, because remember there's uh, two layers of wall over here. I can make inside and outside reinforced concrete, it's just going to use a ton of resources. Or unless I break out the brick and just replace it with uh, rebar frames. Uh, but yeah, I can make the inside and outside reinforced concrete and then put the half blocks on the outside like armor. Like we did with that uh, more of the walker's base, the camouflaged one. Okay, I think all of these are fully grown. I don't really want to damage them. 1.2. Yep. So what's the highest they can go? Advanced. They need to be upside down. Let's see. All the way up to there. We just want it like four blocks up so the zombies can't hit it. So that's one, two, three, four. Um, I don't really want to go higher than that. Although I can. Because the trees are getting in the way. The leaves. So this way, at least, we'll be able to... Let's just see if we can put it all the way around. Yep, okay. This will work. We just need enough room to move up there so that the leaves aren't in the way. And obviously, I'm starting to place wrong. <laughs> also, guys, I'm, starting, I'm also going to uh, start making use of that ladder, no, ladder system, the... Uh, elevator system. So, I mean, that's the fastest way to get up, especially if you buy like uh, or build like a really high place. Then you need that um, hatch elevator to really do something. I actually wish they could add uh, advanced mechanics in this game so you can make your own proper elevator. I know that wasn't creative menu for a while, but they didn't really implement it. I might need to adjust the roofing a bit. Um, or take these trees out so that we can get the leaves out of the way and build up there. Uh, in which case, this is a waste of plates I'm doing over here. For now, let's just keep this up, see how it works out, and if it 
requires taking out these trees later. I'll do that later. I'll just have to separate the plates from these plates because if I cut down these trees, the weight will make everything cave, not just up to ya. That's the bad thing about the structure integrity in this game. Also guys, remember, placing the plates upside down like this helps you with your structural integrity and with your building. Because if it was the right way up with the plate on the floor right now, then you won't be able to place any walls or anything on top. But since I'm doing this, I think there are also center plates, so you can use that for walls. We won't, you just won't be able to place anything right next to the wall. As far as I know, zombies can't, can't eat up, but I can. Um, well, they can eat up, but only like three up. I just hope this isn't a waste and I shouldn't have gone one higher. Let's see if I place one higher. If I need to take these out, I'll do it off camera because otherwise that's just going to be a waste of time. Okay, can I hit that? No, that's too high. Um, I think I'm going to keep going from this height and then off camera replace those plates. So I'll have to go chop down a ton of trees more. But at least we'll, we'll know that we're safe from any zombies hitting the plates. The only reason I'm really worried about this is, even though it's a plate and it's thin, um, it's the same quality as a block. It takes up the whole block. Well, then again, the, I was actually thinking that if it's this way around, or other, uh, upside down. Wait, now I'm placing it wrong. Damn it, John. I should have turned it. That's why I was so confused right now. It has to be the same as the ones I've already placed, but just a little bit higher. So, copy this one. What I was trying to say is, if it's like this, I'm just afraid that if they hit the invisible side, it does damage to the plate. It shouldn't, but with this game and its bugs, you never know. I also need to find myself more traders. So, off camera, I think the next time you will see me in-game, hopefully, will be like day 40-something. <laughs> But by then, uh, the hordes will be massive. And I'll probably have uh, looted most of this town, be a much higher level, and be able to make my steel tools and steel weapons. Rather, uh, what I'm referring to is like steel smithing. Okay, so this is going to take forever to take out. I just wish my tools were a little bit higher. At level 100, I get my next, le uh, my next tool level up. So, I'm saving, I have to start saving points for that now as well. Now the question is, am I going to make an entrance, like a ladder entrance for this on one of the trees? Or, am I going to have to go in here and then climb on? I could also do something over here. Hmm. I could put a bridge over here, and then have it connected to the trees, so that I can hop over and in. Because that's going to be my forge room. I don't want anything over here. I do know that I have my chest over here, uh, the storage chest over here. But that's just going to be for basic things. My kitchen and everything will be on top of the treehouse over here. <laughs> so I just hope that the zombies don't destroy it. I wonder how much weight a tree can take. Because at the moment, um, that's the bad thing about having it four apart and then five apart all of a sudden. The structure integrity is a little bit wonky. Okay, so last one over there. I think we got everything out of the mini bike when we were at the trader. So for now, we can just put everything away. I also need to eat and drink a little bit to get my stuff up. I still need a ton of stone. That's another reason. Oh, I have 3,000 of here. That's another reason why I need to go boulder smashing for stone. Iron and stone, because we need to put those iron bars up and we need to reinforce this whole place. So like I was saying, guys, at the moment I have looted on this side, the not on the on this side of the road, but this side of the road, everything on the northeast side, and I, I started over here. There's still the bank. I think the bank is where? Is this the bank? No, this is the bank. I still need to go do the safes in there, but I think I'll break that open, and then next episode, well, the next episode you see me, I'll go loot that. That's going to be a ways off anyways. 200 wood. How many plates can I make more? 50. Not bad. Also, I need to start making more rebuff uh, frames, and I also need to start hoarding some concrete mix. See, that's why I wish the signs could be moved up and down. 
I also need to make more uh, concrete bricks because remember, I want to turn the trader into a proper wall defense, even if it's just for once, so they can just see if it works properly. Because if you can f defend those NPCs, they have unlimited ammo, so it's just a nice, it's almost like having infinite ammo on your turrets. Crossbow, I need to make ammo for that, but I first want this, uh, the iron arrows to run out. Ammo we can put away. And oh, that's still ammo. Okay, so I just quickly want to eat and then put the rest of the plates up. So guys, I'm going to see if I can sort out my internet issues. Because I really want to start streaming again. My subs are stuck between 440 and 445. I keep losing subs, gaining subs, losing subs, gaining subs, and I want more subs, man. And all my most of my subs joined when I was streaming, so that's why I need to get back into that. As soon as I have stable internet, I'll be able to stream way more and gain way more subs. But I want to get it ready for Alpha 17 especially. I want to be able to stream Alpha 17. Obviously, I want to try before then as well, but that's my deadline. I have to have it ready before then. I think the next episode you guys see me, I'll be like Hevel, uh, Hevel, level 150 or something. Hopefully, I'll be that high. Whoops, a little bit too high. I just know what I have to do as a ton of grinding. That's why I say hopefully the next time you see me it will be day 40 something. Because if not and I'm too lazy or don't have the time to grind, I'll have to make another episode before I start grinding. But hey, if at least I can get a few more trees, finish this. Ooh, still need to finish this. Finish this up and then get way more stones so we can start reinforcing in yeah. At the moment, let's see if I break this. 1.2 damage. Now that's not enough, it's going to take way too many shots. So it will be a little bit expensive, but we need to upgrade that all the way to reinforced. Or, I just need to get my tools up, and then I'll be able to cut through that easier. At the moment, the max quality I can make is level 300. If it's 350, I can at least combine them to 450. Hello? Where did you come from? I'm still so bad with this aim, especially if there's a light on. Where are you? It's weird, when he shakes his head like that, he looks straight up at me. But it still views it as him just looking straight. Okay, I wonder, if I break open here and make flooring over there, if I'll be able to get onto the treehouse over here. I think it'll be the same height. Let's see. Yep, same height. Remember, this flooring is going to go and it's going to be equal to that. So I don't even need to go onto the roof. I can just connect these two parts. And then I'll have to put in a floor. I uh, can't do it from this side. Put in a floor over here. Just have to take this out and replace it with the rebar frames I have. Okay, uh, the bedding I also need to move up. But wait, wait, wait. Do we have... Just remember, I still need to move those plates. Doesn't... Yeah, I do. Okay. So at least I can move my bedroll out of harm's way now. Just quickly want to check over here. I think I have it in the misc box. Also, guys, I have the survivalist mastery book, but I can't read it. The requirements for the skill have not been met. Unlock the mastery level of your class with this book, but I don't know how. Isn't this because you have to combine the notes to make one of these books, right? So, am I seeing that wrong? Doing something wrong? Just let me know in the comment section down below, please. Okay, so I think off camera I'm also going to do the flooring over here. So that next time you can see I've done a lot of, or made a lot of progress. Just want to see where is the bed. Okay, two away from this tree. Like so. Okay, so if you guys like this episode, please have a like and share with your friends. Any comments or tips or feedback for me on this mod? Uh, would you like to see that video explaining more of this mod? Like, is it fun? Should you try it? Or basically a review of this mod? Let me know down below. And if you guys are new to this channel, please remember to hit that subscribe button for more of this content. See you guys next time.